if your vehicle has a wheel lock, you wanna grab that first out of the trunk and also this to pull the covers off. And remove the caps. This vehicle only has one on this wheel. Just grab it with the hook. And if you have the lock, put the lock on. Take these lug nuts off. Use a 17 millimeter socket. And these are actually lug bolts. So hold the wheel once you get to the last one. Hold the wheel and grab the wheel and slide it off. Underneath the lower control arm, I'm just going to put a support, a screw jack or a pull jack. Just take some of the tension off the uh, shock a little bit. We'll take these bolts off up top. Use a 16 millimeter socket. Take these two bolts out. Now we can lower this down. We need to be able to get this bolt out. The spring is in the way a little bit. So if you lower it down, just make sure you don't put any tension on the brake hose or the wheel speed sensor wire. If you do, then you can take it out of the bracket. Just slide it up like this. Give you a little more slack. Just remember to put it back when you're done. And once that looks like that, that looks good. Use a 21 millimeter socket, preferably a swivel socket. And just slide the bolt out. Grab the shock and slide it down. You can take this cap off, just grab it, it slides off. We need to remove that nut. Now we're going to take this mount off. We need to remove that nut. I'm just going to use some channel locks, some large pliers to hold that from spinning, and a 16 millimeter socket. And loosen this up. And it is going to start spinning the studs. So what you need to do is actually slide this down at this point. If you want to, the correct way to do this is with a special socket that goes in there and then you can hold the shaft from spinning. But what we're going to do is up at the top here, use some locking pliers. And this isn't going to cause any damage to it or anything if you had to reuse it. Lock it down. Now take this nut off. Just like that. And we can slide that off. Slide the bumper and the sleeve off. Take the new shock. You want to compress it completely and then let it extend. And we're going to do that three times. Now slide the bumper over. And we can slide this piece over the mount and the bolt. And if you have that special tool to lock down the nut, you can do that and hold the center shaft. We don't. So we're going to use the locking pliers at the top of the shaft so that we don't cause any damage. If you do it at the bottom, then you could cause some damage to the seal. So we're not going to cause any damage. Now tighten this bolt down. Then we're going to torque this nut to 37 foot-pounds. And then an additional 45 degrees. If you don't have a torque angle meter, do the best you can. I'm 
remove the locking pliers and then you can take the bumper and just push it into the mount and take the cap just slide it in position lock it back down uh, slide the mount into position but we're going to put the bolt on down below first started. It's a little bit tricky to get a torque wrench in there. If you're able to torque this, torque that to 133 foot-pounds. And just do the best you can. Now just line the holes up up top while you raise up the screw jack or the pull jack. Get those bolts started. and tighten these down. And lower the screw jack. And set it aside. Now reinstall this ABS wire into the clip. If you took that out, and that looks good. Now throw the wheel up, line it up with the holes, and take one of the lug bolts, get that started. Now I'm going to torque these lug bolts to 89 foot-pounds in a cross pattern to tighten the wheel down evenly. And just go around again, double check. Take the wheel lock off. There we go. And if you have any of these caps, put the caps back on.